Hello, grade 8 students, Mr. Grave here. Uh, if you're watching this video, you've probably received an email from me. The plan of this email is to guide you through creating a little PowerPoint slide that we're going to incorporate in a video to celebrate your amazing work this year uh, and the incredible achievement of you guys finishing your middle school experience. So let me be the first to say congratulations. Uh, your time in middle school is almost over. We're proud of each and every one of you. Uh, but before you move on to high school, we just want to show you that we care and do one kind of little gesture, a little video of our entire grade eight crew. We're going to watch this all together uh, in a YouTube premiere, hopefully all at the same time. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that you're going to have a picture that you're going to put in there. You're also going to have some favorite memories involved in it that you can write. Um, and it's just kind of a way for us to say thank you for your hard work over these three years. Okay, so in this email that I've sent to you, could you please open the PowerPoint presentation? And once you've done that, the yellow tab at the top, you're going to have to click Enable Editing. Now you'll see we've got three slides here. You're going to use one of these. So just go through the slides, see which one you like the best. Um, and then delete the other ones, keep the one that you like. So I'll just say I like the first one. I'm going to delete these second two slides, and I'm going to start filling in my information here. So I'm going to put my first name in there only, and um, we just have to do that just for FOIP reasons. We don't want last names on YouTube. So just your first name, okay? Uh, and then I would like you to fill in what your favorite memory of Senator Joyce Fairbairn is. Now, it doesn't have to be from this year, although maybe that would be a good idea. It could be from any of your three years here or two years here. So I'll just say my favorite memory of SGF is uh, teaching amazing students. And what will I be remembered for? So the second question, I'll be remembered for uh, fun science lab. You can put in whatever you want. Just keep in mind uh, that it needs to be school appropriate. Probably do your best to spell check it so it looks good. Uh, your teachers will be going through it just to make sure it's okay. Um, so take some time, think about that, put something cool in there. And just remember first name only. Okay, now the second part of this, as amazing as these people look, they're not you obviously, and we want pictures of you. Now what you'll need is a good picture of yourself. We have to be able to see your face. It has to be school appropriate. Um, and we're going to take that picture and just put it in place of these kind of stock images that are in this presentation already. How you do that is just right clicking on the picture. You're going to change the picture from file. And remember, you need to have a picture uploaded and saved before you do this. So there we go. I just so happen to have saved my picture on my desktop and I just say insert. So there we are. Now, you don't have to use a professional yearbook picture like this. Um, you can use any picture that you like, so long as we can see your face and it's school appropriate. If you want us to use your yearbook picture, just leave it blank or leave it as the graduating girl there that was already on the screen. Um, and your teacher will fill that in for you. If you uh, really don't want your picture on there, you can let your teacher know that, but might as well, might as well have some fun with it. It's the very end of the year. Okay, so I've got everything I need on this slide. I'm going to save this now. So file, save as. I'm going to save it to, I guess, my desktop again. You guys save it wherever you want. I'm going to call this Brad Grieve Slide. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. There we go. All right, so that's saved now. I'm going to go to my email account. And what you all need to do is you need to then send that email or send that attachment, I should say, to your homeroom teacher as an email. So I can be my own homeroom teacher, I suppose. I'll email this to myself and I'll say Brad Reeve slide as the subject. And I'm just going to drag and drop or insert that attachment. Oh, there it is right there into my email. Make sure it uploads. I'm going to say, hello, Mr. Grieve. Again, please address this to uh, your own homeroom teacher. Uh, here is my grade eight slide. And then just go ahead and send that. Your homeroom teacher will screen that, make sure it's good to go. Uh, they'll compile it and do a PowerPoint presentation and we put all of the students' pictures into a video, uh, along with some yearbook pictures and some videos we've taken over the year and just have a final celebration of the incredible kids that you are and the incredible things you've done for this school this year. Uh, that's it for me. You can chat up your homeroom teacher. You can chat up me. You can email us if you have any questions about this. I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.